John, I, one thing that just blew me away, were you shocked how many Titans fans there were in Los Angeles? Yeah, there were a ton, Mike. I mean, we were I was able to get down there uh, right at the end of the game, probably around two minutes, two minute warning, something like that. And there was a ton of two tone blue down there draped around the uh, the lower bowl. Just really excited about the win. Tighten up, CTL, let's go! I flew back with a bunch of them, and oh gosh, fans are excited because the Titans were able to put together a really special performance at SoFi Stadium, and the big name guys came through. The, the Jeffrey Simmons, we certainly know about his performance, and Danico Autry, and Ryan Tannehill, and on and on and on, Kevin Byard. Give me a couple of guys who also gave you great work when you watch the tape that you're particularly proud of from that win over the Rams. Yeah, Mike, I mean, I think those guys that you mentioned uh, certainly had huge, huge games for us, but I mean, it was guys in all three phases, like we talk about all the time. You know, offensively, we had, you know, Jeff Swain caught a couple balls for us. One was a touchdown. Aaron Brewer punched in. He started at guard for Nate Davis. He had he had a good game. Defensively, Amani Hooker had a couple big stops. Chris Jackson showed up in coverage, almost had an interception. Randy Bullock continues to be a steady presence for us at kicker. And, you know, Monty Rice ran down and made a couple tackles on the, on the coverage unit. So we say it all the time. It takes every single person that's going to get a jersey on game day if you're one of the 48. You know, be ready to go out and help contribute to a team win. That's how you do that. On the road, getting down it, tighten up. The four-man pass rush, five quarterback sacks, and the four-man rush has been coming on for the Titans of late. What's keyed that, John? What's made that happen? Yeah, Mike, you know, I think it's, you know, there's so much that goes into to rushing. There's, you know, you don't always just line up and uh, you're trying to beat the guy blocking you. There's rush games that are involved. There's coordinated efforts that are involved where you, know, you may be lined up outside when you're trying to go inside and, and pick the guy blocking the guy inside, which one of the big sacks Jeffrey had was on one of those games where somebody picked for him and Jeffrey looped around and was able to put Stafford on the ground. So I think the overall coordination, you know, through practice, continue to work at it. You know, and certainly the live game reps, we're starting to get some run out of those games. Where do you want to see offensive improvement following the win over Los Angeles? Where do you want to see the team get better against the Saints on Sunday? Yeah, I think just continuing continuity. Like I said, we had some new faces in there. This was our first game, the Rams game with, without Derek in the backfield. So um, the timing of some of those plays, you know, some of those new faces, you know, Brewer in there, whoever it may be, you know, just the overall timing and the details of the execution of the plays. But, you know, when we get a chance to get down to the red zone, I think that's one of the things that we continue to do well. And we did it against the Rams with score touchdowns. You know, we get down to the red zone, scoring touchdowns down there to get those extra points. The Saints are coming here to Nissan Stadium on Sunday. It's a different looking Saints team because we grew used to seeing Drew Brees and the Saints. Drew Brees is obviously retired. Sean Payton is an outstanding coach. They have a great staff. What are the characteristics of this Saints team that sort of carry over going forward and going to make it a challenge for you on Sunday? Well, I mean, they play extremely hard. Yeah, Drew's moved over uh, to the TV set, but uh, Jameis Winston was was having a heck of a season, and you know he got hurt. And Trevor Simeon, who was on our practice squad, is in their quarterback now. They picked up Mark Ingram. We know him all too well as a runner. And then you got Alvin Kamara, who's one of the more explosive offensive players in the league, whether it's running it or catching it. Two really good tackles, you know, Armstead and Ramchek. And then defensively, they're really aggressive. They're big up front. Cam Jordan, who's been there forever. Davenport on the other end. Anyamata in the middle. Davis at linebacker is in on about every hit. And the secondary is really talented. They got Pro Bowlers back there. So it's a group that has always played with great effort. I think that's something that Sean demands out of his team. And they're talented really on all three phases. 